Such videocy. Got these tattoos and I should have listened to them. That's tats! 46 days between tattoos was just too much. This time, I only waited 15. Hey, it's Maddie, and welcome to this, the visual and oral journey through my 119 and counting tattoos. All length, of course, has been done by Jeff Brown at Custom Touch Tattoo, the North Carolina Triad's oldest established tattoo studio. So I'm a gamer, as maybe you can tell by watching most of the videos here on this channel. And my fellow gamer is... Hi! My son, Dylan. Now, he's only 14, but we're here to talk about his first tattoo. See, we time traveled into the future to find out what it was, and we're back here to tell you about it. We forgot to take pictures of it, man. i fair! We'll be back. See, it's the future. Because, you know, just a minute ago we were here, and then we came back. Yeah. Seriously, though, we're here to talk about what was my 41... Two, three, my 44th tattoo, and as I said in the last episode, it was also one of my most elaborate tattoos, as well as my most expensive tattoo, my back piece notwithstanding. What does that have to do with us being gamers? Well, let's show them, Dylan. Dies! It's the throne of games. Yes. It's the throne of games. This is an image I found online. It's, I believe, done by an artist named uh, Giles Bone, or Gillies Bone. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, I apologize. G-I-L-L-E-S-B-O-N-E. -E. Uh, you can find their work at their website of the same name. Just add a .com to it. But uh, for me, I just thought it was an awesome image because, again, I really like video games, and it was nice to get one that incorporated so many of my favorite games into it. The reason Dylan is here is so he's going to help me identify a few of those objects. Yes. So, obviously, some of the stuff at the bottom, uh, we have the Pokeball. Yes. And beside that is the Blue Shell from Mario Kart. Yes. Uh, in the middle here, I believe these are just swords in general, nothing specific. Yeah. But I also see this chainsaw blade here that makes up the posts. I don't know what game that's from, do you? No. Also, the, the uh, gun on the side behind the blue shell, I can't personally identify. Just looks like a gun to me. Uh, on the other side, of course, is the portal gun. Yes. And do you know what this ball is down here? I am not sure on It's that. not the morph ball, is it? No, no. Okay. Of course, mostly it's made up of swords, which are the highlights. I mean, you have this giant eye sword in the middle. Yeah. What do you say you think it is? I want to say it's one, either the Soul Edge or Soul Calibur, one of those. And I, and I thought I remember at the time reading that one of these swords beside it is the Lich King sword, but I honestly don't know what mm. game it's from. The ones, of course, I recognize are the uh, Buster Sword from Final Fantasy VII, one of the most iconic video game swords to me. And right in front of and below that is the Gunblade from Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah. And do you know that sword that's right below that by any chance? Uh, no. That's fine. Um, on the other side, we have this sort of, this sort of claw design that I don't recognize, but right mm -hmm. behind it is Sora's Keyblade. Uh, behind that is a katana. I, I think it's probably Sephiroth's katana, judging yeah. by how long it seems to be, and the fact that it's on the opposite side of uh, Cloud's sword. Well, it could be. It could be, like, it, it could be any katana. I, I like to think, too, that it could be Kronos' katana, because he uses katanas. Yeah, but which one? <laughs> any, any one. And then coming along, we have the Master Sword from The Legend of Zelda. Yes. Probably the most iconic sword here, if not, well, if not second behind the Buster Sword. Hmm. And behind that is, again, just an array of general swords. Anything else you can see that you can pick out? I don't think. So those are the ones we know off the top of our heads. So any of the ones you know we got wrong, let us know in the comments down below. I've actually added on to it, adding Shy Guy, my video game avatar, on January 9th, 2015, and then adding a trio of characters on March 29th, 2018, Napster Blook from the modern classic Undertale, Mog the Moogle from Final Fantasy VI, one of my favorite games from my all-time favorite video game series, and Mario's perennial nemesis the Goomba, who is a personal favorite of my daughter Alex's. And of course, there were plenty more tattoos to come both before and after those, but those are other stories for other times. Hope to video. See you then. Peace out, y'all. Now this is dedicated to everybody who faked it. At first it was great, but now the relationships are vacant. I really hate it that I got fooled back then. But like the hoop, I won't get fooled again. Got these tattoos and I should have listened to them. Cause hope and trust are dead and you are not my friend. And if you ever were before, doubt you'll ever be again. Wish what I know now.